New Tech Press, uh, continuing our reports on music. Now, we've just heard from Rajiv Madhavan uh, as a follow-up to his uh, keynote address about what's going on at Magma, and we're probably going to we're going to talk be talking to a few other uh, uh, Magma employees about the products and talking about some issues regarding those things. Uh, but before we do that, I wanted to take a, a, a brief detour and talk to Andreas Olofsson, who is the CEO of Adaptiva. Adaptiva is a small company back east that uh, has had some remarkable success in designing a new low-power microprocessor. Uh, so without going into more detail, uh, here's Andreas. Hi, Lou Covey again at uh, the Magma Mu Music Conference, and I'm here with Andreas Olofsson, uh, CEO of Adaptiva, who's just finished doing a uh, talk uh, on the conference about 65 nanometer design tape out in six weeks. Okay, Andreas, 65 nanometer tape out in six weeks. Come on! <laughs> with one engineer. <laughs> one engineer? Yes. Okay, how did you do that? Um, so, a uh, combination of things. Uh, one is the right architecture that was designed from day one to be layout centric. Um, and uh, great tools and great support, and uh, you can do it in six weeks. And what were you using? Uh, Magma tools. Interesting. Okay, now, what is it that Adaptiva does? Uh, we make very low power microprocessors for embedded military and embedded medical applications. Okay, how long have you been around? Two years. Two years, okay. Um, how's business doing for you? Uh, it's going great. Uh, we're going to have a product this summer, and uh, things are looking good. Do you think that there's a turnaround of the economy on this? Um, so the application space we're going after really never went down. Okay. Um, um, it's, uh, it's very uh, robust to uh, recessions, and uh, um, so we, we're seeing a lot of demand. Okay, so why did you choose Magma? Um, so we, what we liked was we liked the RTL to GDS flow, mm -hmm. um, and uh, um, we, uh, we liked the support we got from the team. Mm -hmm. um, those are the major two things. Um, and uh, I mean, the six week tape out showed that, uh, you know, you, the capacity is there, the runtime is there, and, but most importantly from a small group with few engineers, um, you don't need to do a lot of customization to tape out a chip at 65 nanometer. Okay. Uh, what what uh, foundry are you using? Uh, Charter, Charter. Now Global Foundries. Okay. Global Foundries. So what was the biggest challenge you had in this process? In the process technology or the tape out? Well, yeah, uh, okay, in the process of putting this thing out in six weeks. Time. <laughs> <laughs> time, 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 time. Uh, oh, well, was, I mean, did you, <laughs> did you have to get it out in six weeks? Or, um, or? We, had, we had an opportunity that would have cost us a lot if we would have missed that tape out. Okay. So uh, that was, it was a schedule constraint that we had to tape out to be ready for uh, three months later, basically, with a prototype. Okay. Um, and uh, so, uh, so we, you know, it was a self-inflicted uh, uh, tape out constraint. Um, but uh, you know we've had experience in the past where we taped out in two or three weeks. So we figure, hey, this is six weeks, twice the time, should be no problem. Um, it's a little more challenging when you only have you know one person working on it versus a big team like Analog Devices or TI, um, and you have all the infrastructure already built up. Um, so the big challenge here was you know putting the infrastructure in place and taping out in six weeks is tall order. And you said you had one engineer to work on this. Yeah. How many people in your company? Uh, three. A three-man chip company yes. taping out in six weeks. That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. This is Luke Covey with New Tech Press at Music. Thank you, Andres. Thank you.